Hello and welcome back to Herndon Imagination Studios, which was once called Father and Son Stop Motion. First, I want to say thank you to everybody that stuck around with us while we were gone. Uh, it's been a crazy, I don't know, what, eight months, I guess? Maybe, maybe even longer. <laughs> uh, a, lot, a lot has happened um, somehow in these uh, months gone, we made it up to just past 2,000 subscribers. So, unbelievable. So thank you very much for that. That is incredible. We have been doing a lot of stuff. I know you guys have been commenting and I try to, to get on there and uh, message back whenever I can. Uh, we have still been filming stop motion to finish up that uh, Justice League series and after that I want to do more what is called I guess episodic epi episodes which means it's not a continuous story it's just gonna be like here's one episode of uh, a Batman story or here's a whole episode dedicated to the Wonder Twins you know something like that it's what it's going to be uh, Gosh, what's happened in, in, in uh, Imagine X world? A lot has happened. Let's see, there's a whole Scooby-Doo line, which is awesome. Uh, I'll show you some, some of those guys. Um, Toy Story is making its way back. They had them before, and now with Toy Story 4 coming out, they're back. So there's a whole new line. They look a little bit different. Um, what else? Gus in DC in the blind bags. There have been uh, series five and series six. So that, that was a lot. Series six is new out right now. That has um, Lex Luthor in a Superman suit. It has the Wonder Twins. Um, it has uh, Duke Thomas, Catman. I think that's it. And, oh, and Dr. Fate. Um, Weird when I do a custom figure and then it feels like months later there they are <laughs> in the blind bags. I don't know. That's cool. Um, so there's a lot that we want to do. I have also been customizing some. I've not been recording them. Uh, I've kind of been doing these for my own uh, sanity, I guess. We, When I was a kid, we, one of the big uh, cartoons and toy lines uh, was He-Man Masters of the Universe. So I did some of my own customizing to make an Imaginex version of um, a lot of the He-Man world. And I'll show you those guys right now. First is He-Man. He was the, you know, the hero, I guess, if you will. He starts out as um, a prince. He gets this magic sword and he, he holds up the sword and he says, by the power of Grayskull, and he turns into He-Man. Um, and then there's Skeletor, the bad guy, and he has a whole, like, uh, list. There's, there's a lot of them. Um, but the, the ones, the first four figures that were released in, gosh, 1982? I may have to, I may have to check that. I think. But the first four were He-Man, Skeletor, Man-at-Arms, which is a good guy, and uh, Beast-Man. And that's the first four that I made. And after that I made Merman, I made Trapjaw, which has the, uh, his, he has like a, a robot arm and he could take the uh, attachments off and change them, which is pretty cool. Figured out how to do that. And He-Man came with a Battle Cat. Um, and Skeletor came with his own cat, which is a giant panther, which was named Panthor. Uh, and there's Ram Man. He's awesome. And Triclops. I think that's all of them that I've done. And I'm making another one right now. Orko, which is like, uh, he's like the comic relief magician. Anyway, that's a lot. He-Man, we can go on and on and on. I don't know if I'm going to do a stop motion. Uh, series with the Masters of the Universe. You can see that they're all up here, by the way, too. Um, 
but I might do a digital comic book with those guys with the story. So uh, how would you guys like to see that? Would you like to see a digital comic book? And it'll be like a PDF that you can download for free. Um, that's something you're interested in, then uh, I don't know, message me or push like or something like that, whatever, whatever that entails. Uh, what else is there? Um, there's also a Firefly and Batman floating around somewhere. Uh, and this motorcycle, hold on, look at this. This is fairly new, all right? So this here, this guy right here, this Batman character, he gets on this bike, motorcycle, cool. But watch this, you just push this forward, and it turns into a hover. I think this is one of the coolest things that they have come up with in a, in a long time for Imagine X. That's what a really cool little design. Um, that's, uh, I've been seeing that uh, lately at, at different Walmarts. Target, not so much. Uh, Target, all they have left, maybe you got some of those gigantic uh, bat caves. Okay, we never we didn't get one of those, um, and they still have a lot of uh, Jurassic Park stuff. But Target selection of Imagine X is not too good, not too good. Um, a lot of the places that we're finding the Imagine X and blind bags, Walmart, um, you can find some some other little stuff in these little stores called Tuesday Morning. It's um, and Ollie's discount. Um, a lot of the Toys R Us, when they close, all went to these type of places. So you might find some toys, uh, Imagine X toys that you don't get to see in Walmart or Target or uh, anything like that. Kroger, if you're around Kroger's and they have a little toy selection, they usually have some pretty good um, selections and blind bags like Series 11 of the, of the regular blind bags. What else? Um, Aquaman came out and hit a billion dollars in the theaters. That's incredible. Uh, I did see it and I very much enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun. You know, it, it, it was a lot of fun. I, I liked it a lot. And coming out pretty soon is the Shazam movie. Uh, one of my favorite characters ever. I love it. I love Shazam. Uh, so I'm really excited about that movie. Hope you are too. I hope it does really well. Who here also watches Gotham, the show Gotham is on Fox. If you do, then uh, with this new season, season five, which is the end season, sad, um, if you watch episode eight and nine, you might see a familiar face. That's all I can say. Uh, I think that airs at the end of February, maybe the 21st or 28th. I don't remember, they have it all kind of mixed up now but uh, episode eight and nine. Well, all right, folks, I think that is it for today. I just wanted to film something really quick, show you guys some of the new figures that are uh, floating around right now. Um, if there's anything else I wanted to talk about, I don't think there is. Just wanted to say thank you guys for, uh, again, for sticking with us. Sorry we've been gone so long. We moved, we had a baby work this and that and winter and everything it's all it's all a big crazy uh past eight months but we're back and we're ready to bring you guys some more videos uh hopefully i'll be doing some more custom uh figures though i don't know who i'm gonna make next oh i had an idea now i can't think of it oh wait there's also the dc universe uh online which is a subscription thing uh, but if you didn't already know, if you do have that, Young Justice is back, Young Justice Outsiders, and I think the first 13 episodes are out, and they are awesome. It, it, it takes place just a, a few years after the, uh, the uh, invasion, so a lot of the characters are now grown up, um, and you're getting to see a whole lot more new characters which is awesome but uh definitely worth the watch i can't wait to see what the last half of the season uh does i hope you get to watch it it's really cool 
anyway that's it for us right now thank you again and we will see you next time